What's up nerds, how are we doing? Today's video is pretty interesting. I'm gonna be talking about a little piece of software I wrote that allows me to generate chord progressions per the key of song that I'm in. So the motivation for this piece of software comes from the fact that I've been studying music theory a lot recently and there's a lot of patterns that are in music theory that makes it very scalable, just like software. So I thought, let's combine the two write something that generates chords and helps you build songs faster and see what comes out of that. So without further ado, let's actually do a live demo and see how this works. So I have a Python program called Chord Generator at Pi, and it's gonna create a chord progression based on a certain emotion or feeling I want. So right now I have an M1 synth loaded in. Cool and let's set that to recording so we can actually receive MIDI information. This is how the program is talking to Ableton. It's sending in MIDI. Let's run our program. At the start, we get a little menu. The chord generator asks, how are we feeling today? And for a basic example, let's just say we're feeling generic. And let's just write this in C. Let's try a different one. Let's say we're feeling eclectic. Let's write that in D. That's dope. I like that one. But let's say we want to throw in an acapella. So let me just grab something from Splice. Let's do this guy. Um, cool. And this one is in the key of A major. So next time we run this program, we're gonna throw a chord progression in the key of A major in. So now that's warped into time, let's generate a few chord progressions in the key of A. And then from there, we can pick and choose which one we like. Again, let's do a super generic one. in the key of A this time. I mean, I like that progression, but it's a little too happy. Let's do another one. Let's do a story. We haven't done this before. To tell you a story, actually. A again. That's sick, and then for good measure, let's do one more uh, eclectic. A. Cool. Now we have three melodies, excuse me, chord progressions, and from there we can throw these in and see how they sit with the vocal. Uh, I don't really like that one. We'll get rid of that. Let's try the other one. I think this was the storytelling one. I like this one. That's golden. I like that one a lot. Let's try the last one. See what that sounds no, like. That. Let's go with let's go with the storytelling one and let's make a song out of this. So, I'm gonna create a bass line via the chords we generated. So let's just get those root notes, keep those in, and get a nice little serum preset for this guy. Drop right there. Cool. Cool. See, now 
we're already moving, baby. And now all I need to do is fill in drums and get a bass line. And we got a song. Let's get a top loop. Accessibility options. What the fuck? Let's get a top loop. Uh, I really like the shipwreck ones, so let's go to that sample pack. That sounds dope. <clears throat> Let's extend upon that. Let's create a kick. Let's dank. Expand upon that again. Let's get a bass line going. That's simple. I like it. It's here with the vocal over top. Dank. From there, we'll transpose that to match the bass line. I think that one goes up to a F sharp, and then we go back down to our E. Let's get a build. stick with that that's simple makes the most sense manipulator I want to just pitch these vocals down and I think we have a banger uh, figure formats and let's throw those down Yeah, you just saw me build out that song in probably, I think that took me five minutes, which is pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. And the whole reason I was able to do that was because I had a chord generator to expedite that process. Now, let's quickly take a look into a piece of software and see what it's doing. I'm not gonna talk about this much because it's kind of boring. I have the Python code right here. Shouts out to Mido and RT MIDI. I'm importing both those libraries that allows Python to actually talk to Ableton create a virtual MIDI port and send in um, that data. The main function here, is this thing called write chords, is gonna take in a dictionary of all these chords. All these dictionaries that I came up are hard coded. It'd be cool to expand upon this and have some like machine learning generated chord melodies from analyzing popular songs, but I just went into a bunch of like, I think this first one, the most popular one I derived from a Beyonce song the sad one I got from like a Aerosmith song. So I have a bunch of dictionaries with chord progressions that I'm loading in. And this function takes in a transpose and those chord dictionaries. From that, um, it creates a virtual MIDI port. And then for each of those notes, it's gonna send in um, that MIDI data. And that's basically it. So yeah, again, extremely simple program, but this is just a proof of concept and there's so much more that could expand upon this, which is pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick one, but good learning process for all of us, right? We're all here to learn. Make sure to follow me on all the social media platforms if you want to see more content like this. Don't forget to leave a comment, a like, and a suggestion for next video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I don't need to